Guests entering Heinz Field this season can expect a new policy change that affects the type and size of bag permitted into the stadium. It's called All Clear on Game Day, and it's an NFL-wide policy in order to ensure a safer experience at stadiums. Your bag can be clear plastic, vinyl, or PVC. Even a Ziploc bag is acceptable, as long as security can see through and it meets size requirements. In addition to bringing in a clear bag, you may also bring in a wristlet, which is approximately the size of your hands, like the ones you see on top of the blankets. They can have a strap, they don't have to have a strap. Keys and cell phones are fine in your pockets. Steelers personnel says staffers will be lined at all gates on game day, handing out the clear fan courtesy bags to all of those unaware of the policy change. Reporting from Steelers Training Camp in Latrobe, I'm Leah Petrovich, Channel 11 Sports. Pitt football is finally underway, and an important position battle this preseason will be for quarterback. Savage, Anderson, and Wojtek are the three possible QBs, and Coach Christ knows what he wants from them. The command of the offense, you know, and then I think then it's uh, while you're doing that, you know, you, you got to feel comfortable with the offense, and then you've got to transition to, you know, consistent play. Savage is a senior transfer from Rutgers and has something to prove this preseason. Just that you can move the sticks. I mean, I think that's what every quarterback should be able to show the coach, and uh, just that I can manage the game and understand it. Chad Wojtek is a redshirt freshman and says his relationship with Savage is a positive give and take. I can learn a lot from him. Hopefully I can, I, I can help him a little bit. And uh, it's been good so far. No tension whatsoever. We're just here playing football, having fun. Now it's only day one, so the three quarterbacks still have plenty of time to prove themselves before the ACC opener, Florida State, on Labor Day. Reporting from Pitt headquarters, Leah Petrovich, Channel 11 Sports. The Pirates have added two players basically overnight. Marlon Bird and John Buck from the New York Mets will suit up tonight in the black and gold. It's weird. You wake up in the morning, getting ready to go to the field, and all of a sudden you get a call from the GM and says, hey, you're going to uh, a contender. Bird will have an immediate impact stepping in for an injured Starling Marte in left field. Bird is also expected to be a big contributor at the plate. He tops the majors against left-handed pitchers. Offensive numbers speak for themselves, the, the layers of experience, the gamemanship, uh, his attitude, the edge he brings to the game, so we're looking forward to getting him plugged in right away. John Buck was acquired to back up catcher Russell Martin. Buck's 15 home runs and 60 RBIs this year show he could help the Pirates offensively as well. He's still got some hot spots. He's still got some things he can get done offensively for you. Uh, and as much as anything, you know, we were one injury away, whether it be Tony, whether it be Russell, putting us in a very precarious position. And we believe that in and of itself, to get us that, that veteran guy, we were really fortunate to get a guy that caliber at this time. Marlon Bird will hit cleanup tonight as the Bucks try and snap a three-game losing streak. Reporting from PNC Park, Leah Petrovich, Channel 11 Sports. The Steelers are in their second week of training, and I got to talk to some of the players about their time at camp thus far. Guys have been competing. We've had some young guys step up and show flashes of, of good football, so it's been great. David DeCastro is one of the younger players who feels more comfortable with his rookie season under his belt. It's one of those things, it's like second year around, you're just more comfortable. I think it's like anything in life that you do the second time around, it's, it's always just stuff that you don't think about and just stuff you don't have to worry about and you can just focus on playing football. Veteran center on the O-line, Marquise Pouncey, says the disappointing results of last season are behind them. There's really no point in talking about it. I mean, everybody knows the feeling and everybody knows the approach that we have to have this year to be a lot better. Being prepared is a main focus. We definitely want to get in game mode and get in game shape. And, uh, definitely want to be on the P's and Q's. Players will get some rest with an off day tomorrow before the final practices leading up to the game on Saturday versus the New York Giants. Reporting from Steeler Training Camp, I'm Leah Petrovich, Channel 11 Sports.